Okay, being as that we're new to triangle congruency, I wanted to do a few uh, examples of, um, of just determining whether triangles are congruent or not. So, and then by what shortcut are they congruent? So I have a few different um, diagrams here. Um, I'm gonna start at the one here in the upper left, this diagram right here. So we need to show some pieces here are congruent. So let's do a really easy one. Let's say that we have that, and then these sides are equal, and then these sides are equal. So the main thing here to understand is that what we're trying to do is we're trying to think about the corresponding sides. So if you rotate this around, these two triangles would look the same and they would line up to where the three sides are congruent to the three sides. So, and you wouldn't have to write this out, but just so you know here, you can see that AB is congruent to DE. You can see that BC is congruent to EF. And you can see that AC is congruent to DF. So therefore, these two triangles are congruent by side, side, side. Okay, on most of the work that we're doing, you would just put side, side, side. Um, sometimes they do ask for the triangle congruence. So you'd say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle D. E, F. And when you write that, you want to do it in the right order. So for example, since you'd rotate this around, A and D would line up, B and E would line up, C and F would line up, and that's what the order we put it in. Okay, but for, for the most part, all I really want to do today is just to look at it and say, is that side, side, side? Um, is it side, angle, side? You know, which congruence theorem would we use? Okay, let's try another one here on the same triangle here. Let's say the pieces that we have are, those are equal. These are equal. And then those are equal. So then the question is, is can you rotate this triangle or this triangle to line up? Oops, I need to put a little hash mark down there. Okay, can, so can you line these up? And I think the answer would be yes, because you can kind of flip it and line them up so that F, and I'll try to highlight these, F and B would line up, D would line up with A, and C and E would line up. So I think it's a flip and a, and a rotation. Um, so that's the first thing, do they line up? Can you make them line up? Okay, and you can. And when they line up, do these pieces that are equivalent, that are equal line up? And they would. And so you'd look at it and say, well, you have two sides and an angle in the middle, and that would be side angle side. So side, oops. Side, angle, side. Okay. So let's, again, we're just going to do some examples here. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, we'll do one more example on this picture. So let's say we have this side equals this side, this angle equals this angle here, and then this side equals that side. So if you look at those two now, again, we can rotate them around to line up, but these pieces that are equal would not correspond. They wouldn't like overlay each other. Um, and one way you can tell is that if you look at this triangle, 
See how it goes side, angle, side, where the angle's in the middle? And this angle is not in the middle. It's side, side, angle. So since this is side, side, oops, side, angle, side, and this is side, side, angle, we can't show they're congruent. So you'd say, can't be determined. Or you can just write a simple C, B, D. All right, let's try another one here. Let's go to our second picture over here. Let's say I say that they're right angles. And um, we say that this side equals that side. And that's all we get. So if you look at this, it looks like you can flip this triangle over to that triangle and everything would line up correctly. We do know that this has to be 90 because this is 90. But we also know it shares this side, so we can actually assume that because it does share the side. You can kind of write it in. We can write it in now. Now you have a side angle in the middle of a side. Side angle in the middle side. So this would be a side angle side. Okay, what if, let's try a different one here. Let's try if we had this side equal to, let's say it's a right angle, like that, and that is it. So we know these are right triangles. We know that these hypotenuse of the right triangles are equal. And we also have this shared side, which we can assume because they share it, um, which is a side-side angle. Notice how the angle is not in the middle. We can't use side-side angle, though. It's not one of our congruence. But because it's a right triangle, so therefore, we have the hypotenuse here and the leg. So this would be an HL or hypotenuse leg. So hypotenuse leg is one of our congruence. So HL. All okay, let's move to a different example here. I'm trying to give you a lot of different types of examples that you would see. Okay, let's say we say that this angle congruent to that angle and um, angle A can go to angle Q. So hopefully you can see, and this is a kind of a tough one to see, that if you take this triangle and rotate it, that these angles would line up. So that's good. Again, they share that side, so we can assume that. So I have two angles, two angles, and a side in the middle. And actually, the side, I shouldn't say the side's in the middle, the side, that's the diagonal. Now, this side is not in the middle of these two angles. So we have two different congruence here that we could use. Is it angle, side, angle, or angle, angle, side? Well, because the side is not in the middle of the two angles, you'd say angle, angle, side. Now let's go back and use blue on that one. Since we've been making it color coordinated, let's keep that one. Okay. Last design here. Let's say we have This side equals that side. And let's say these, these sides equal. Okay, so from this picture, what can we assume? Well, we don't have any other sides, 
but we do have this angle in the middle. These vertical angles are always equal. So we can write that in there. So these would line up, so that looks good. Everything lines up. And you rotate that, these pieces all correspond. But we do have two sides in an angle with the angle not in the middle, which would be a SSA, but SSA is not a congruency theorem. So you would say can't be determined. Okay, one more thing I want to do um, is, and it was on some practice problems we did, was it says to, we, uh, we want to create two triangles that are congruent, um, and we want to create them in a certain way. So let's just erase these real quick. So here's a type of problem it would ask you, it would say, we want to create a side, side, side. And we're going to give you that these are equal and those are equal. So you can see that they, we only have two parts of these triangles. So what they're saying is, what do we need to add to create a side, side, side? What part do we need to add? Well, we have two sides and we need a third side. So we need to add this third side is equal. So you would need to add AC is congruent to DF. And that's it. Let's try another one here. Let's say we want a... Let's say we want a side angle side down here. So we want side angle side. And we are only given this side equals that side. Well, it seems like we only have one piece, but we actually have two because they share the side still. So we can, we can say that this side equals itself. So then all we need, we already have the two sides, we need the angle. So which angle would we need to show these triangles are congruent? Well, we need this angle in the middle of the sides. So the angle that's in the middle of these two sides is this one right here. This angle QDU or D, and needs to be congruent to this angle up here to give a side angle side. So we would say angle QDU we need that to be congruent to angle AUD. And that's how we would do the other examples of determining that they're uh, triangle congruence by adding pieces.